Do you guys ever have trauma? I don't know what it is, but I think I can make it. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted, and in today's episode, we are going to be making shawarma. Tense, we, can, we, got, we got a little Iron Man going on. It's fairly simple, Jay wanted shawarma, so we're gonna do shawarma. Recipes vary from country to country, Greeks, Lebanese, everything is different. So we're gonna kinda mix things together a little bit. First things first, I like to marinate with yogurt. Not everybody does that. I do, it actually tenderizes the chicken a little bit. So we are going to use some yogurt, Greek yogurt, garlic, some salt, and some pepper, some paprika. I use smoked paprika, why? Because I like that little smokiness. Turmeric for, you know, all the health qualities. Cumin. This food you actually want, the cumin and coriander taste, so be generous. A little cardamom, I used to say cardamom. It's actually cardamom. Right, so we got our limon. You know that wonderful sound. It's such a good sound. Maybe not that one. A little too squirty. I'm fine. Lemon juice. Now, it just really matters how much we want to hurt stuff. We can have more. We're gonna finish off with some olive oil. So, whisk everything together. We have our chicken thighs, and for the love of everything holy, don't wash your fucking chicken. Had a conversation with a friend of mine over it. There's like more than one of you. Get your hands in here. I do like that sound. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Per our usual, into a Ziploc bag. Into the fridge, I say overnight, that's what you want. More flavor, more love. <laughs> so our chicken is marinated, it looks wonderful. So we're gonna do a couple of different things at the same time. We are going to cook chicken, and then we are going to make some sauces because we're all bougie and we want three different sauces. With this, you can put it on a grill, you can do it in the oven. I choosing to do it in cast iron because I like that flavor that the cast iron gives it, that little bit of char. If I had a grill, probably do it on a grill. Also, you can cut it up, cut it into strips. I leave it whole and then cut it up after it's cooked. Oil in, get it nice and hot. While we're waiting for that to heat up, we are going to make, that's average. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Whew. So, our chicken goes in. Turn down the heat, and we are going to let that cook. In the meantime, for tzatziki. So we're gonna grate our now, not average, cucumber. <laughs> clean towel, at least I think it's clean. Cucumber in, and then we're gonna squeeze the shit out of it to dry it out as much as possible. Our cucumber is nice and dry, so that way our tzatziki isn't like runny, nasty, watery. To this, we are going to add yogurt. Today. So some juice. Oh yeah, baby. That was a good one. We're gonna do the bougie thing. And grate our garlic. Oh, see? Do a nice little color color. So we're gonna add some dill. Don't do it, don't do it. It's only average. See, that's just wonderful, wonderful. That's why I wore a white t-shirt. It's like splashing up, hit me in the shirt, let it in the face. And last thing we're gonna add, cause I like adding it to my tzatziki, is just a little bit of mint. Not everybody does that, but I like it. Jay's been ignoring me lately. Shh, she's here. And just a little bit of mint. And we will set this off to the side. Why is my chicken spitting at me? Next up, sug. Is that how you say it? You say it? That's how you say it, right? Sug. It's good though. 
I'll show you. You're gonna wanna stay away from that one. Make your ass hurt. It's true though. Here we have mocajete with, or mortar and pestle, however you want. This for me, it's a mocajete. In this, you have cumin seed and coriander seed. We're just gonna kind of grind this up. You see, I'm not like pressing. You can do this. Bing, bing. Now comes the fun part. I'm leaving seeds in. Why? Because I want the heat. Yeah. The serranos, we're using serranos into the mogajete. And we're just gonna pulverize them into a paste. We are going to take our coriander, cumin, serrano, get it into the food processor. We have Italian parsley and cilantro, some chopped garlic. Let's choke our, check our chicken. Now that's some color. Lemon juice. We'll pulse it. Now for this part, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna scrape it down. This is gonna go back on. We're gonna put this on low. We are going to add our oil. One last time. Take it off, scrape it down. Still a little too thick. Little taste. Some salt. It's actually not that hot. I'm gonna throw another chili in there. It's not hot. In goes another chili, cause it's not hot. One more chili. Chili, not chili, chili. We wanna make sure our chicken is cooked. So always temp your chicken. Tahini dressing, tahini sauce, whatever you wanna call it. This one's an acquired taste. Like I like sesame, but this is not something, yeah, like I can deal with it in hummus, but like in for shawarma. Lemons, lemons. All right, so we've got our tahini in there. We're going to add our lemon juice, garlic. Most, I mean, I can't say most countries, but like Italians don't use as much garlic as Americans think they do. So our garlic, lemon juice, tahini, and then this becomes a paste. Basically, and there's your tahini dressing. So we have our tzatziki, our shug, and now our tahini dressing. So we have our Lebanese bread, our sauces, we have our chicken. So, strips. Like you know it's good when the crunch of the chicken, like that just crunch from the cast iron pan, you know what I mean? From this angle, from what I can see, because you just see the steam coming out of the tomato. Onion, tomato, lettuce, Lebanese bread, which I'm gonna throw in the microwave for about 20 seconds. We got our chicken. I put the lettuce down so that way the chicken doesn't make the bread uh, soggy. Our tomato, our onion. All right, so we got some sugar. And then we'll finish Jay off. <laughs> We're friends. Oh yeah. So there's our shawarma. So here we have our shawarma. I did know what it was, by the way. I actually love shawarma. It's great. The, the, the amazing thing about shawarma is that you can put so many different toppings on it, so many different sauces. Um, you can do it over rice with vegetables. But it is just, shawarma is wonderful. I gotta save that one for Jay because he doesn't like tzatziki on a shawarma. I'm no shame right now. That is freaking good. That is really good. If you like shawarma, it's a great recipe. Give it a try. We got all three sauces and the shawarma recipe in the description. Give us a like, notify, subscribe, ring the bell. Is that the other one? I don't know. And we will see you next time. Much love. That is freaking good.